it's uh, fucking snowing out, so guess what? I got a fucking shovel of snow. Anyway, um, I don't know if you if you have heard, but recently in New York, uh, in fact, very recently, maybe in the last uh, week or so, they made it so that if you get caught jaywalking, you get to pay a two hundred and fifty fucking dollar ticket. Right? Uh, my opinion on that. Uh, what do I think about the two hundred fifty fucking dollar ticket for for like uh, jaywalking? Right? Uh, not murder. Not a serious criminal offense or anything like that. 250 fucking dollars, right? I think it's fucking insane. Why can't it be $20, right? I mean, like, $20 is money. And I mean, there's also the stigma and the annoyance of having to pay that. I mean, and why can't it be? Okay, everybody go, $20. Nobody will care about $20, right? Well, why can't they have an, a, an offense scale, right? First offense, $20, right? Uh, second offense, $100. Third offense and every offense after that, $250, right? Right? That's a good idea, right? Maybe I should be the fucking mayor or, or in fucking politics, right? So anyway, I think it's fucking outrageous. $250 for for uh, a jaywalking ticket, right? So, like, and think about it. Who gets hurt when they charge you $250 for jaywalking, right? Is it the millionaire? Is it the guy who just spent $250 on his tie? No. It's the regular guy. The guy who has to pay, the guy who doesn't, the guy who makes $250 a fucking week, right? He makes like, he's lucky sometimes. And there's a lot of people like that in New York. Because not everybody walking around um, Manhattan is a fucking millionaire, you know? They're not all fucking rich with money coming out of their pockets, right? So yeah, that's who gets hurt. And then guess what? It's another fucking tax on people who don't have money, right? Because, sure, they're going to raise a lot of money. But who are they going to raise the money from? From millionaires? No, from regular people. So guess guess what? The guy who doesn't have that much money and pays $250 has to, has to explain to his kids, right? Hey, guess what, kids? I don't have money for fucking milk this week. <laughs> I can't pay the electricity. You know? I can't buy medicine for you, Timmy. So uh, you're going to just try and hold out. Hold out another week, you know, without the antibiotics. Hopefully you'll get better, but I don't know, you know. I mean, it's it's honest, honestly, it's fucking ridiculous, right? I mean, just think about it, right? Uh, is it going to help with tourism when some guy from Germany is walking across the street, right? Uh, to get a fucking hot dog or something from a hot dog stand, right? <laughs> is it going to help tourism when he goes back to Germany and everybody's like, hey, how was it in New York? Is it a beautiful city? He's like, uh, you know, uh, here's what he's going to fucking remember. He's going to remember how they, he got a $250 ticket for walking across the fucking street. I mean, come on. You know, the cars don't wait for you. You can have perfectly legal, the perfect light and everything, and it'll still run your ass over, right? And if they ran your ass over, they'd probably get a, a ticket for less than $250, right? Uh, yeah, I don't know what it would be, but I bet you that's the case. So, I mean, just think about it. I think what's going on here is there's this new form of uh, police and governmental brutality um, that, in, that they're using, right? And instead of actual brutality where they beat the crap out of you, right? Uh, their new kind of brutality is financial brutality. And think about it, because it's a real thing, right? It's a real thing when they hit you in the pocket, pocket so hard that you don't know what the hell you're going to do. You know, you, you start going like, maybe I should just rob a fucking bank, you know? But, um... Yeah, so I think, like, the new thing they should do, right, is since they have this, and they're not doing my great idea with the sliding scales, right, um, I think what they should do is they should give the people that they pull over for, like, uh, jaywalking, the big crime of the century, right, I think they should give them the option, they should say, look, uh, you were jaywalking, you know what you did, right, and you'd be like, yeah, 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 officer, you're right, I was jaywalking, it's wrong, <laughs> so what are we going to do, and he's like, look, now, I know these I, people have been complaining about these two hundred fifty dollar fines. It's a lot of fucking money, right? Uh, how do you, how much you make? You make a lot of money. It's like, no, officer, I don't make that much. You know that that two hundred fifty dollars really gonna hurt me. You know, uh, I don't. If that two hundred fifty dollars, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't even have the money to pay the rent. You know. So all right, well, we're giving you a new option, right? He says uh, we can go with this new fine, uh, that the little bit of financial brutality, or your other choice is. Uh, we do the old-fashioned police brutality, and you'd be like, what? He goes, well, look, it's pretty simple, right? Um, I'm going to hit you with my baton. I'm going to hit you, like, just once, you know, not across the face, not where any major organs are or anything. Uh, I'm just going to smack you really hard across your back, right? And, uh, and that'll be it, you know? And uh, I don't know, it's, it's all up to you. 
<laughs> he said, what you want to do? And you're like, huh. You know, and he says, you're not going to really fuck me up, officer. He says, no, but I'm going to hit you hard. You're going to remember. <laughs> you know? And you'll be like, uh, you know, $250 or, or a smack across the back with the baton. You know what, officer? Just fucking hit me across the back because $250 is fucking outrageous.